Hello again, welcome back to part two at the Herefordshire. And I remember this hole. It's 2.57, it's straight up. We got the wind behind today. Let's give it large and hopefully we'll miss the, um, miss the fair, miss the greenside bunkers. I was trying to say fairway bunkers. There's no fairway bunkers, there's just some serious greenside bunkers. It landed in the uh, full toss into the left hand greenside bunker. It looks like it's kicked back off the face and uh, I got a chip over the bunker. Lucky again. How many times have I been lucky today so far? Better not make a mess of it then, had I? Sometimes you lay up on a short par 4 like that and make sure you don't go in the hazard. Sometimes you go for it, don't you? I hit the face of that bunker, it shot across the bunker, jumped out. There we go. A bird to start the back nine. Wait till you see this hole. I don't mind admitting that I've changed to an older ball here. If I hit a bad one, the hang time on this shot means I'll never see the ball again. Wind's off the left, so I'm aiming way down the left. This flag is smelly. Have you seen the size of the drop off on the right? Now I recognize that because I was down there last time and I, uh, I don't know what I scored. It certainly wasn't a par. So if this ball goes anywhere near that flag, it's because I've hit a bad shot, not a good shot.
Well, that's the other bad shot. That is the chicken shit shot. I don't think I'm even on the green. However, chipping a putt. Crikey. That was real chunky. It's landed short of the green. It took a big jump in the air. Don't know what it's hit. And it's now on the green. I don't know, it looks like 15 feet from here. <laughs> Isn't golf a strange game? First par five on the golf course, the 14th, 530. The tee shot is straight at those two poplars and you gotta slice the nuts off it. And then if you're brave, you can go for the green in two. And it's done just like that. Well, I've driven it further than this before, so um, perhaps I do need a lower spinning driver. The green is way down the hill, tucked round to the right behind my trolley, so I'm going to move the trolley. All I got to do with this hybrid is keep left and it will kick down to the green. skinny so that might be too much what was my drive my drive was 294 and I had 234 left something like that oh well we'll see when we get there Well, the penalty for the poor second shot was losing the birdie chance. How about this tee behind me? We're quite nice up there off the whites. As it happens, we're off the yellows. And this really is a pretty little hole.
three holes to go, a uh, par five and a par four and then a short par four. We're going up the chute here. It's quite narrow all the way up, so the old golf ball with the yellow mark of shame on has come out of the bag. Still going to use driver though, because I'm practicing the driver. don't remember all this bracken. I seem to remember a fairly shaved bank up here. About 234 up the hill into the breeze. The lie's okay, so three wood. Not entirely sure about that one, if I'm honest. I presume I've hit this tree. at 63. Just going to shut the face of the 7 iron. Keep it low and see if I keep it on this bank for as long as I can and actually get it on the front of the green. That is as good as it gets. Seven feet. Wow. Get in. Get in. Wow. Now that is a get out of jail free card, isn't it? I was going to say I've never made a birdie here before, but then I've only played the course twice. And the first time I was about a 17 handicap, so I wouldn't have made a birdie up here anyway. Right, two to go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, can anyone tell me why I'm not doing this at Lilybrook at the moment? Because I'd really like to know.
sometimes golf can be very, very strange. I don't really know what to say. I know I'm under par. I know I've broken par because I haven't had any bogeys. No, I, I just don't know. Because I haven't filled the card in. I work out the score afterwards when I do the editing. This is very, very strange. I suppose it's not that long. I haven't been hitting four irons and woods into many greens, have I? I just don't know what to say, other than thanks for watching. Cheerio!